Hi, everyone, and thanks for joining us. I'm Jessica Layton. We begin tonight with a new standoff over safety at New York City public schools. Today, the union representing principals called for a state takeover of those city schools. CBS 2's Hazel Sanchez is in Brooklyn with more. Hazel. Hi there, Jessica. In-person learning begins on Tuesday and Thursday of this week. The principals union says its members and teachers plan on being in the schools to welcome students, but they say they have lost all faith in Mayor de Blasio and schools Chancellor Carranza in leading the city schools through the coronavirus crisis, and they want the state to take over. The principal's union president, Mark Canizaro, says his membership is fed up with the last-minute changes in school start dates and teaching policies. Twice in-person learning has been delayed for teacher shortages. On Friday, the DOE changed its policy, now allowing teachers to teach remotely from home instead of in the classroom. A change made, they said, without notifying the principal's union. This morning, the union had a unanimous vote of no confidence in the mayor and school's chancellor, demanding the mayor cede control of city schools schools to the State Department of Education. Many teachers we spoke with say they too have lost confidence in the mayor and schools chancellor. But we just felt that we had to make a public statement at this point because this past week too many too many repeat errors occurred and we need to be able to um, you know do better by our folks so that they can do better by children. I just think that it would be helpful to have some um, you know S some fresh eyes in here to take a look and possibly help out, uh, you know, help out as far as the, the overall planning is concerned. I think it's about time. I think uh, I wish that my union had had the wherewithal to do the same, the UFT. The last thing we need is less Democratic support. I have absolutely no confidence in the mayor, of course, but I think um, what we need to do right now is empower schools and teachers to be able to do what we know how to do. Now, the school's chancellor tells us that he has been working, the city has been working with all the labor leaders over the past six months, and, quote, we'll continue this work to guarantee a safe health and successful opening for all. Now, the teachers tell me they still don't have enough staffing to start school this week, and they would prefer to go fully remote. In Bensonhurst, Brooklyn, Hazel Sanchez, CBS 2 News.